Hi everybody, my name is Johnny Marriott and in this Wildlife Photography 101 segment, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite camera accessories for wildlife photography when you're photographing from a car. And that is a bean bag. So a bean bag is uh, basically a little bag. It can be made out of plastic, uh, cotton, uh, canvas, really any sort of material. And inside is beans or rice or lentils. Uh, and it just allows the bag to be flexible and moldable so that you can slap it down on a windowsill and have it form a nice little spot that you can stick a lens in and photograph wildlife out of your car. And you may be wondering, why would I photograph wildlife out of my car? Well, using your vehicle as a blind actually allows you to approach a lot of the large predators in particular uh, quite a bit more closely than you would otherwise. On foot, a wolf might only let you get 300, 400 meters away. Whereas in a vehicle with the vehicle turned off and you sitting there quietly putting a beanbag up on your windowsill, sometimes wolves will come 25, 50 meters away from you and you're able to use those big lenses to photograph really nicely. So when I've got my beanbag set up, I can plop the camera in there and it acts just like a tripod. You can actually leave it hands off and have it sit there or you can rotate it around and follow wildlife around. It's very stable and allows you to get much lower shutter speeds than you'd be able to get just hand holding out of your window. Now the other key thing when you're using a bean bag, particularly on a day like today where it's really cold and you're in the winter, is you got to keep your heat down really low because as soon as you open up this window and put your bean bag on it, you don't want heat waves coming out of the car and ruining your shot. And then the final tip that I've got for using a bean bag is you'll notice on here I've got a bit of tape on my lens. Well that tape is to hold my focus ring so that when I'm moving my lens back and forth on the bean bag it's not changing my focus. So that my autofocus in the camera is allowed to work as it should and stay tracking on that wolf as it walks towards me. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little wildlife photography 101 tip. Don't forget to go out and grab your bean bag and we'll catch you next episode. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it.